the Neolithic era, or period, from I one half I I and I I I I I, or New Stone Age, was a period in the development of human technology, beginning about 10,200 BC, according to the ASPRO chronology, in some parts of the Middle East, and later in other parts of the world and ending between 4,500 and 2,000 BC. Traditionally considered the last part of the Stone Age, the Neolithic followed the terminal Holocene Epipaleolithic period and commenced with the beginning of farming, which produced the Neolithic Revolution. It ended when metal tools became widespread. The Neolithic is a progression of behavioral and cultural characteristics and changes, including the use of wild and domestic crops and of domesticated animals. The beginning of the Neolithic culture is considered to be in the Levant about 10,200 to Euro 8,800 BC. It developed directly from the Epipaleolithic Natufian culture in the region, whose people pioneered the use of wild cereals, which then evolved into true farming. The Natufian period was between 12,000 and 10,200 BC, and the so-called Proto-Neolithic is now included in the Pre-Pottery Neolithic between 10,200 and 8,800 BC. As the Natufians had become dependent on wild cereals in their diet, and a sedentary way of life had begun among them, the climatic changes associated with the younger Dryas are thought to have forced people to develop farming. By 10,200 to Euro 8,800 BC, farming communities arose in the Levant and spread to Asia Minor, North Africa and North Mesopotamia. Early Neolithic farming was limited to a narrow range of plants, both wild and domesticated, which included eam corn wheat, millet and spelt, and the keeping of dogs, sheep and goats. By about 6,900 to Euro 6,400 BC, it included domesticated cattle and pigs, the establishment of permanently or seasonally inhabited settlements, and the use of pottery. Not all of these cultural elements characteristic of the Neolithic appeared everywhere in the same order, the earliest farming societies in the Near East did not use pottery. In other parts of the world, such as Africa, South Asia and Southeast Asia, Independent domestication events led to their own regionally distinctive Neolithic cultures that arose completely independent of those in Europe and Southwest Asia. Early Japanese societies and other East Asian cultures used pottery before developing agriculture. Unlike the Paleolithic, when more than one human species existed, only one human species reached a Neolithic. Homo floresiensis may have survived right up to the very dawn of the Neolithic about 12,200 years ago. The term Neolithic derives from the Greek I one half I micron I I, I to the first I I to the first I I I, Neolithikos, from I one half I I Neos, new plus I I I I I Lithos, stone, literally meaning new stone age. The term was invented by Sir John Lubbock in 1865 as a refinement of the three age system. Periods by pottery phase, in the Middle East. Cultures identified as Neolithic began appearing by in the 10th millennium BC. Early development occurred in the Levant and from there spread eastwards and westwards. Neolithic cultures are also attested in southeastern Anatolia and northern Mesopotamia by c. 8000 BC. The prehistoric Bay of Fudi site near Yixian in Hebei province, China, contains relics of a culture contemporaneous with the Sishan and Xinglongwa cultures of about 5,000 to Euro 6,000 BC, Neolithic cultures east of the Taihang Mountains, filling in an archaeological gap between the two northern Chinese cultures. The total excavated area is more than 1,200 square yards and the collection of Neolithic findings at the site consists of two phases. Neolithic 1 a Euro pre-pottery Neolithic a the Neolithic I period began roughly 10,000 years ago in the Levant. The temple area in southeastern Turkey at Gar Paragraph Bakli tape dated around 8,000 BC may be regarded as the beginning of the period. The site was developed by nomadic hunter-gatherer tribes, evidenced by the lack of permanent housing in the vicinity and may be the oldest known human-made place of worship. At least seven stone circles, covering 25 acres contain limestone pillars carved with animals, insects and birds. Stone tools were used by perhaps as many as hundreds of people to create the pillars, which may have supported roofs. Other early PPNA sites dating to around 9500 to 9000 BC have been found in Jericho, 
Palestine Israel and JBEIL, Lebanon The start of Neolithic I overlaps the Tar Union and heavy Neolithic periods to some degree. The major advance of Neolithic I was true farming. In the Proto-Neolithic Natufian cultures, wild cereals were harvested, and perhaps early seed selection and reseeding occurred. The grain was ground into flour. Emma wheat was domesticated, and animals were herded and domesticated. In the 21st century, remains of figs were discovered in a house in Jericho dated to 9400 BC. The figs are of a mutant variety that cannot be pollinated by insects, and therefore the trees can only reproduce from cuttings. This evidence suggests that figs were the first cultivated crop and mark the invention of the technology of farming. This occurred centuries before the first cultivation of grains. Settlements became more permanent with circular houses, much like those of the Natufians, with single rooms. However, these houses were for the first time made of mud brick. The settlement had a surrounding stone wall and perhaps a stone tower. The wall served as protection from nearby groups, as protection from floods, or to keep animals penned. There are also some enclosures that suggest grain and meat storage. Neolithic II A Euro pre pottery Neolithic B, the Neolithic II began around 8800 BC according to the ASPRO chronology in the Levant. As with the PPNA dates, there are two versions from the same laboratories noted above. But this terminological structure is not convenient for southeast Anatolia and settlements of the Middle Anatolia basin. This era was before the Mesolithic era. Settlements have rectangular mud brick houses where the family lived together in single or multiple rooms. Burial findings suggest an ancestor cult where people preserved skulls of the dead, which were plastered with mud to make facial features. The rest of the corpse may have been left outside the settlement to decay until only the bones were left, then the bones were buried inside the settlement underneath the floor or between houses. Neolithic 3 A Euro Pottery Neolithic the Neolithic III began around 6400 BC in the Fertile Crescent. By then distinctive cultures emerged, with pottery like the Hylaphian and Eurbaid. This period has been further divided into PNA and PNB at some sites. The Chalcolithic period began about 4500 BC, then the Bronze Age began about 3500 BC, replacing the Neolithic cultures. Periods by region, Fertile Crescent. Around 10,200 BC the first fully developed Neolithic cultures belonging to the phase pre-pottery Neolithic A appeared in the Fertile Crescent. Around 10,700 to 9,400 BC a settlement was established in Tel Karamel, 10 miles north of Aleppo. The settlement included two temples dating back to 9,650. Around 9,000 BC during the PPNA, the world's first town, Jericho appeared in the Levant. It was surrounded by a stone and marble wall and contained a population of 2,000 Euro 3,000 people and a massive stone tower. Around 6,400 BC the Halif culture appeared in Lebanon, Israel and Palestine, Syria, Anatolia, and northern Mesopotamia and subsisted on drill and agriculture. In 1981 a team of researchers from the Maison de l'Orient et de la Mar copyright d'Iterana copyright e, including Jacques Coven and Oliver Orenk divided Near East Neolithic chronology into ten periods based on social, economic and cultural characteristics. In 2002 Danielle Storder and Far Copyright Dow Copyright Rick Abbas advanced this system with a division into five periods. Natufian between 12,000 and 10,200 BC, Chimian between 10,200-8,800 BC, PPNA, Sultanian, Mary Bishan, early PPNB between 8800-7600 BC, middle PPNB 7600-6900 BC, late PPNB between 7500 and 7000 BC and a PPNB transitional stage where Halif and dark-faced burnished ware begin to emerge between 6900-6400 BC. They also advanced the idea of a transitional stage between the PPNA and PPNB between 8800 and 8600 BC at sites like Jaff el Arma and Tel Orsvad. Southern Mesopotamia, alluvial plains. Little rainfall makes irrigation systems necessary. 
you obeyed culture from 6900 BC. North Africa. Domestication of sheep and goats reached Egypt from the Near East possibly as early as 6000 BC. Graham Barker states the first indisputable evidence for domestic plants and animals in the Nile Valley is not until the early 5th millennium BC in northern Egypt and a thousand years later further south, in both cases as part of strategies that still relied heavily on fishing, hunting, and the gathering of wild plants, and suggests that these subsistence changes were not due to farmers migrating from the Near East but was an indigenous development, with cereals either indigenous or obtained through exchange. Other scholars argue that the primary stimulus for agriculture and domesticated animals in Egypt was from the Middle East. Europe In Southeast Europe agrarian societies first appeared in the 7th millennium BC, attested by one of the earliest farming sites of Europe, discovered in Bashtami, southeastern Albania and dating back to 6500 BC. Anthropomorphic figurines have been found in the Balkans from 6000 BC, and in Central Europe by c. 5800 BC. Among the earliest cultural complexes of this area are the Sislo culture in Thessaly, which later expanded in the Balkans giving rise to Stara Evo Car Paragraph R Paragraph S, Linnea Ban Keramic, and Binae. Through a combination of cultural diffusion and migration of peoples, the Neolithic traditions spread west and northwards to reach northwestern Europe by around 4500 BC. The Vino culture may have created the earliest system of writing, the Vino signs, though archaeologist Shanwin believes they most likely represented pictograms and ideograms rather than a truly developed form of writing. The Cucupni Tripilian culture built enormous settlements in Romania, Moldova, and Ukraine from 5300 to 2300 BC. The megalithic temple complexes of Agantija on the Mediterranean island of Gazo and of Nordra are notable for their gigantic Neolithic structures, the oldest of which date back to c. 3600 BC. The Hypogeum of Al Zaflini, Pela, Malta, is a subterranean structure excavated c. 2500 BC. Originally a sanctuary, it became a necropolis, the only prehistoric underground temple in the world and showing a degree of artistry and stone sculpture unique in prehistory to the Maltese Islands. South and East Asia, the earliest Neolithic site in South Asia is Muga, dated to 7500 BC, in the Karchi plain of Balochistan, Pakistan. The site has evidence of farming and herding. In South India, the Neolithic began by 3000 BC and lasted until around 1400 BC when the megalithic transition period began. South Indian Neolithic is characterized by ash mounds since 2500 BC in Karnataka region, expanded later to Tamil Nadu. In East Asia, the earliest sites include Nanshuang Tol culture around 9500 BC to 9000 BC, Pentushan culture around 7500 BC to 6100 BC, Pialagang culture around 7000 BC to 5000 BC. The Neolithic remains a living tradition in small and extremely remote and inaccessible pockets of West Papua. Polished stone adzes and axes are used in the present day in areas where the availability of metal implements is limited. This is likely to cease altogether in the next few years as the older generation die off and steel blades and chainsaws prevail. In 2012, news was released about a new farming site discovered in Minamri, Gozeong, Gangwon Province, South Korea which may be the earliest farmland known to date in East Asia. No remains of an agricultural field from the Neolithic period have been found in any East Asian country before, the institute said, adding that the discovery reveals that the history of agricultural cultivation at least began during the period on the Korean peninsula. The farm was dated between 3600 and 3000 BC pottery, stone projectile points, and possible houses were also found. In 2002, Researchers discovered prehistoric earthenware, jade earrings, among other items in the area. The research team will perform accelerator mass spectrometry dating to retrieve a more precise date for the site. America In Mesoamerica, a similar set of events occurred by around 4500 BC, but possibly as early as 11,000 or Euro 10,000 BC. These cultures are usually not referred to as belonging to the Neolithic. 
In America different terms are used such as formative stage instead of mid-late Neolithic, archaic era instead of early Neolithic and Paleo-Indian for the preceding period. The formative stage is equivalent to the Neolithic Revolution period in Europe, Asia, and Africa. In the southwestern United States it occurred from 500 to 1200 CE. When there was a dramatic increase in population and development of large villages supported by agriculture based on dreland farming of maize, and later, beans, squash, and domesticated turkeys. During this period the bow and arrow and ceramic pottery were also introduced. Social organization. During most of the Neolithic age, people lived in small tribes composed of multiple bands or lineages. There is little scientific evidence of developed social stratification in most Neolithic societies. Social stratification is more associated with the later Bronze Age. Although some late Neolithic societies formed complex stratified chiefdoms similar to Polynesian societies such as the ancient Hawaiians, most Neolithic societies were relatively simple and egalitarian. However, Neolithic societies were noticeably more hierarchical than the Paleolithic cultures that preceded them and hunter-gatherer cultures in general. The domestication of animals resulted in a dramatic increase in social inequality. Possession of livestock allowed competition between households and resulted in inherited inequalities of wealth. Neolithic pastoralists who controlled large herds gradually acquired more livestock, and this made economic inequalities more pronounced. However, evidence of social inequality is still disputed, as settlements such as cattle hew up reveal a striking lack of difference in the size of homes and burial sites, suggesting a more egalitarian society with no evidence of the concept of capital, although some homes do appear slightly larger or more elaborately decorated than others. Families and households were still largely independent economically, and the household was probably the center of life. However, excavations in Central Europe have revealed that early Neolithic linear ceramic cultures were building large arrangements of circular ditches between 4800 BC and 4600 BC. These structures required considerable time and labor to construct, which suggests that some influential individuals were able to organize and direct human labor a euro though non-hierarchical and voluntary work remain possibilities. There is a large body of evidence for fortified settlements at Linnea Ban ceramic sites along the Rhine, as at least some villages were fortified for some time with a palisade and an outer ditch. Settlements with palisades and weapon traumatized bones have been discovered, such as at the Talheim Death Pit demonstrates. Systematic violence between groups, and warfare was probably much more common during the Neolithic than in the preceding Paleolithic period. This supplanted an earlier view of the linear pottery culture as living a peaceful, unfortified lifestyle. Control of labor and intergroup conflict is characteristic of corporate level or tribal groups, headed by a charismatic individual. Whether a big man or a proto chief, functioning as a lineage group head. Whether a non hierarchical system of organization existed is debatable and there is no evidence that explicitly suggests that Neolithic societies functioned under any dominating class or individual, as was the case in the chiefdoms of the European Early Bronze Age. Theories to explain the apparent implied egalitarianism of Neolithic societies have arisen, notably the Marxist concept of primitive communism. Shelter The shelter of the early people changed dramatically from the Paleolithic to the Neolithic era. In the Paleolithic, People did not normally live in permanent constructions. In the Neolithic, mud brick houses started appearing that were coated with plaster. The growth of agriculture made permanent houses possible. Doorways were made on the roof, with ladders positioned both on the inside and outside of the houses. The roof was supported by beams from the inside. The rough ground was covered by platforms, mats, and skins on which residents slept. Stilt houses settlements were common in the Alpine and Pornra Padana region. Remains have been found at the Ljubljana marshes in Slovenia and at the Monsi and Atasi lakes in Upper Austria, for example. Farming A significant and far-reaching shift in human subsistence and lifestyle was to be brought about in areas where crop farming and cultivation were first developed. The previous reliance on an essentially nomadic hunter-gatherer subsistence technique or pastoral transhumance was at first supplemented, 
and then increasingly replaced by, a reliance upon the foods produced from cultivated lands. These developments are also believed to have greatly encouraged the growth of settlements, since it may be supposed that the increased need to spend more time and labor in tending crop fields required more localized dwellings. This trend would continue into the Bronze Age, eventually giving rise to permanently settled farming towns, and later cities and states whose larger populations could be sustained by the increased productivity from cultivated lands. The profound differences in human interactions and subsistence methods associated with the onset of early agricultural practices in the Neolithic have been called the Neolithic Revolution, a term coined in the 1920s by the Australian archaeologist Vera Gordon Child. One potential benefit of the development and increasing sophistication of farming technology was the possibility of producing surplus crop yields, in other words, food supplies in excess of the immediate needs of the community. Surpluses could be stored for later use, or possibly traded for other necessities or luxuries. Agricultural life afforded securities that pastoral life could not, and sedentary farming populations grew faster than nomadic. However, early farmers were also adversely affected in times of famine, such as may be caused by drought or pests. In instances where agriculture had become the predominant way of life, the sensitivity to these shortages could be particularly acute, affecting agrarian populations to an extent that otherwise may not have been routinely experienced by prior hunter-gatherer communities. Nevertheless, agrarian communities generally proved successful, and their growth and the expansion of territory under cultivation continued. Another significant change undergone by many of these newly agrarian communities was one of diet. Pre-agrarian diets varied by region, season, available local plant and animal resources and degree of pastoralism and hunting. Post-agrarian diet was restricted to a limited package of successfully cultivated cereal grains, plants and to a variable extent domesticated animals and animal products. Supplementation of diet by hunting and gathering was to variable degrees precluded by the increase in population above the carrying capacity of the land and a high sedentary local population concentration. In some cultures, there would have been a significant shift toward increased starch and plant protein. The relative nutritional benefits and drawbacks of these dietary changes and their overall impact on early societal development is still debated. In addition, increased population density, decreased population mobility, increased continuous proximity to domesticated animals, and continuous occupation of comparatively population-dense sites would have altered sanitation needs and patterns of disease. Technology The identifying characteristic of Neolithic technology is the use of polished or ground stone tools, in contrast to the flaked stone tools used during the Paleolithic era. Neolithic people were skilled farmers, manufacturing a range of tools necessary for the tending, harvesting and processing of crops and food production. They were also skilled manufacturers of a range of other types of stone tools and ornaments, including projectile points, beads, and statuettes. But what allowed forest clearance on a large scale was the polished stone axe above all other tools. Together with the adze, fashioning wood for shelter, structures and canoes for example, this enabled them to exploit their newly won farmland. Neolithic peoples in the Levant, Anatolia, Syria, northern Mesopotamia and Central Asia were also accomplished builders, utilizing mud brick to construct houses and villages. At a Atalha paragraph Ya one quarter K, houses were plastered and painted with elaborate scenes of humans and animals. In Europe, long houses built from wattle and orb were constructed. Elaborate tombs were built for the dead. These tombs are particularly numerous in Ireland, where there are many thousands still in existence. Neolithic people in the British Isles built long barrows and chamber tombs for their dead and causewayed camps, henges, flint mines and curses monuments. It was also important to figure out ways of preserving food for future months, such as fashioning relatively airtight containers, and using substances like salt as preservatives. The peoples of the Americas and the Pacific mostly retained the Neolithic level of tool technology until the time of European contact. Exceptions include copper hatchets and spearheads in the Great Lakes region. Clothing Most clothing appears to have been made of animal skins, 
as indicated by finds of large numbers of bone and antler pins which are ideal for fastening leather. Wool cloth and linen might have become available during the later Neolithic, as suggested by finds of perforated stones which may have served as spindle whirls or loom weights. The clothing worn in the Neolithic age might be similar to that worn by Azar the Iceman, although he was not Neolithic. Early Settlements Neolithic human settlements include, Gar Paragraph the Key Tape in Turkey, c. 11,000 Euro 9000 BC, Tel Karamel in Syria, 10,700 Euro 9400 BC, French Vi Cave in Greece, Epipaleolithic settlement, reoccupied between 7500 Euro 6000 BC, Nanzhuangtou in Hebei, China, 9500-9000 BC, Jericho in West Bank. Neolithic from around 8350 BC, arising from the earlier Epipaleolithic Natufian culture, Donulin in China 8000 6200 BC, Al plus or minus clap plus or minus ha paragraph ya 1 quarter k in central Anatolia, Turkey, an aceramic Neolithic period settlement. 8200 Euro 7400 BC, correlating with the EMPPNB in the Levant. Navali Kori in Turkey, c. 8000 BC. Pentushan culture in China, 7500 Euro 6100 BC. Rice residues were carbon 14 dated to 8200 7800 BC in type site, and a color paragraph ya 1 quarter k in Turkey, 7500 BC. Ain Gazel in Jordan, 7250 Euro 5000 BC. Chai Bonut in Iran, 7200 BC. Jisai in India, 7100 BC. Ganj Dairy in Iran, c. 7000 BC, La Haredwa in India, 7000 BC, Zhu in China, 7000 to 5800 BC, Muga in Pakistan, 7000 BC, Gnosis on Crete, c. 7000 BC, Grenovo in Bulgaria, 6200 BC, Sesklo in Greece, 6850 BC, Despilio in Greece, c. 5500 BC, Poradin in Republic of Macedonia, 6500 BC, Vrshnik in Republic of Macedonia, 6500 BC, Pizza di Bodio, Lombardy in Italy, c. 6320A plus or minus 80 BC, Samarentia in Friuli, Italy, c. 6050A plus or minus 90 BC, Pardal Ling Caves in Burma, c. 6000 BC, Pitnica in Serbia, 6000 BC, Stara Zagora in Bulgaria, 5500 BC, Q Company Tripilian Culture, 5500 Euro 2750 BC, in Ukraine, Moldova and Romania First Salt Works, Talzidan in northern Syria, from about 5500 to 4000 BC, around 2000 settlements of Tripilian Culture, 5400 Euro 2800 BC, Tabin Cave Complex in Quezon, Palan, Philippines 5000 Euro 2000 BC, Hmude Culture in China, 5000 Euro 4500 BC, Large Scale Rice Plantation, the Megalithic Temples of Malta, 3600 BC, Nap of Hawar and Scarabray, Orkney, Scotland, from 3500 BC and 3100 BC respectively, Brian Arbar Cubed in Ireland, c. 3500 BC, Loch Gur in Ireland from around 3000 BC, Naughty Chico Civilization, from 3000 to Euro 1700 BC, 30 Aceramic Neolithic period settlements in northern coastal Peru, Taikid Neolithic village on the Tagant Plateau in central southern Mauritania, 2000 to Euro 500 BC, Oaxaca, state in southwestern Mexico. By 2000 BC Neolithic sedentary villages had been established in the central valleys region of this state. Later in China, 2000 BC, Mumin Pottery period, Neolithic revolution spreads down the Korean peninsula and permanent settlements are established 1800 to Euro 1500 BC, Neolithic revolution reaches Japan around 500 to Euro 300 BC, the world's oldest known engineered roadway, the Sweet Track in England, Dates from 3800 BC and the world's oldest freestanding structure is the Neolithic Temple of Gomtija in Gazo, Malta. List of cultures and sites. Note.
dates are very approximate, and are only given for a rough estimate. Consult each culture for specific time periods. Early Neolithic periodization, the Levant, 10,000 to 8,500 BC. Europe, 5,000 to 4,000 BC. Elsewhere, varies greatly, depending on region. Biaxin culture, Sishan culture, Dudiati culture, French Thai cave people, earliest European Neolithic site, 20th to 3rd millennium BC. Sizklo village culture, Stasavo K culture, also known as the Stara Evo Ka paragraph Ra paragraph SK culture. Nanshung Tau, Middle Neolithic periodization, the Levant, 8500 to 6500 BC. Europe, 4000 to 3500 BC. Elsewhere, varies greatly, depending on region. Badan culture, Jincha settlement and Sangsing D mound. Katalhoyuk, Cardium pottery culture, Combs ceramic culture, Cordedware culture, Cortelod culture, Q Kupni Tripilian culture, Dadiwan culture, Dornko culture, Daxi culture, Chentushan settlement. Groovedware people, Scarabre, Al. Erlato culture, Xia dynasty. Ertibale culture, Hambari culture, Hmud culture, Hongshan culture, Hulai culture, Horgan culture, Lantsu culture, Linear pottery culture, Gusek circle, Al. Longshan culture, Majbane culture, Maiaia culture, Pialagang culture, Pantushan culture, Fin culture, Pre Kukupni culture, Kujiling culture, Shijia culture, Tripilian culture, Vino culture, Windmill Hill culture, Stonehenge. Xinglongwa culture, Bay of Fuddy site. Xin culture, Yangshao culture, Banpo and Xishwipo settlements. Tsaiborga culture, later Neolithic periodization, 6500 to 4500 BC. Europe, 3500 to 3000 BC. Elsewhere, varies greatly, depending on region. A Neolithic periodization, Middle East. 4500 to 3300 BC. Europe, 3000 to 1700 BC. Elsewhere, varies greatly, depending on region. In the Americas, the Neolithic ended as late as the 1800s for some people. Bika culture, Q. Kupni Tripilian culture, Funnel Bika culture, Gordo culture, Langeal culture, Varna culture, see also, footnotes. Bibliography. External links, McNamara, John. Neolithic Period. World Museum of Man. Retrieved April 14, 2008. A. Rincon, Paul. Brutal Lives of Stone Age Britons. BBC News. Retrieved April 14, 2008. A. Current Directions in West African Prehistory. A Euro Macintosh and Macintosh. Vinci Neolithic Script. UB Pra Copyright Historia Euro Ensignment sur la Na Copyright Alithique